All right, let's talk about 10 things you need to reconsider buying when you're grocery shopping. Hi, I'm Eva and I'm the founder of Fierce Rich Money. I love grocery shopping, that's my me time. So here are 10 things I try not to buy, but sometimes do. All right, one, pre-cut fruits and vegetables. Yes, it's convenient, but it does come with a pretty big price tag. Save money by buying the whole fruit and vegetable and take the time to cut them yourself. It only takes a few minutes, but for the sake of transparency, I do buy pre-cut pineapples. This is because it saves me money. I'm really good at picking out fruits and vegetables, except for pineapples. I can't. I've thrown out too many, so when we want pineapple, I do get the pre-cut ones. It is more... Um, it is more cost efficient for me, all right? Bottled water, instead of spending so much money on single use bottled water, invest in a reusable water bottle and fill it up at home. You know, not only is it better for the environment, but it'll save you money in the long run so you can buy a expensive water bottle. Listen, those families are pretty cool looking. I love this one. All right, pre-packaged snacks in small packages. Um, you know what, those snack size are more expensive than when you buy the big bag. Uh, goldfish, perfect example. Um, you know what, if you get a deal on goldfish, sometimes it is cheaper, but I do get the big bags and then when my son takes them to school, we put them in the small bags. <laughs> Organic produce. While organic produce is better for you, it can, some of it, it can be much more expensive. And if you're on a budget, consider buying good old conventional products instead. Plus there's the whole thing like what is organic and you know what, whatever. All right, name brand products. So what are <laughs> name brand products? Um, can be tempting, but store brands are usually just as good and cheaper. Save money by opting for generic brands. However, not all generic products are the same, so you need to find ones you like. Good example is this one cereal I bought, and it was just a mistake. I Total mistake. All right, frozen foods. Yes, they are convenient, but they are often pricey and loaded with unhealthy ingredients. Save money by cooking meals at home, and doubling the portions and freezing the other half, all right? Bottled salad dressings. Um, you know, salad dressings are surprisingly easy to make at home, and it's much cheaper than buying the pre-made. Save money by making your own dressing with ingredients like balsamic vinegar, oil, spices. It's funny, growing up, I never knew that there was bottled dressing because we never had it. We always had vinegar, oil, oregano. <laughs> Canned soups. So while it can be a very quick meal option, they're often high in sodium and preservatives. You know, if you can save money by making your own soup from scratch, that's great. However, I do buy canned soups when they go on sale and keep a few in the pantry for when I want soup but don't feel like cooking it, all right? Soft drinks, um, you know what? They're really bad and unhealthy for you and it quickly adds up at the grocery store. Um, you know, they're not cheap. So save your money by cutting soda out of your grocery list and stick to water or homemade beverages like tea or water. All right, um, last but not least, coffee and teas. Listen, I know it's not, um, you know, a grocery shopping thing, but I felt it was important to add it. Specialty coffees and teas. Um, listen, I love going out for my coffee and it does get maligned. However, um, you know, going out every day for a latte or cappuccino does add up. Does it mean you can never go out for coffee? No, just don't do it every day. You know, save money, invest in a quality coffee maker or and make your own coffee at home. Has anyone ever used a Jura machine? I think that's what it's called. 
<laughs> Listen, they're supposed to be like the best machines. They start at a thousand dollars and go up to like four grand. I have a Keurig. I also have a Nespresso machine and I love them both. So anyway, so by avoiding those 10 um, things, I guess 11, because I also did include tea. So should we count coffee and tea as one? So by avoiding those 10 things, actually 11, because I did throw tea in there, you can save money and make healthy choices for you and your family. You know, it, it takes planning, but you can do it. Um, you know, I'm not saying never buy those things because again, me with the pineapple, I will always buy pre-cut pineapple. It does cost more, but I'm not throwing out the whole pineapple that I buy. I, I cannot pick out a good pineapple. Um, anyway, so try avoiding those 10 things if you can. If you can't, if that's what you need to get through, then do it. However, um, you know, do your best. All right, that's that's my advice always with anything. Do your best. All right, so that's it. I hope you like this. Um, you know, we're in this together and we're gonna both get out of debt, all right? I believe you can do it. I know I can. I've done it before. So thank you for staying until the end. And I hope you liked it. If you did, thumbs up. Um, and feel free to share. So, all right. I will see you in the next video.